Hello everyone, welcome on back to Survival Challenge. So, um, if you can't tell, it's the same month. That is because probably 10 seconds after I shut off the, uh, the recording, um, it said great demand for maple syrup. Uh, it's high enough where yeah, I probably should sell it. Normally when it's great demand, it's it's you know maybe a little bit higher than max price, but not much. It's it's a good amount. So I'll be getting those sold and then we'll be going right to the next day. I cleaned up the yard a little bit. A little bit we'll probably do a little bit better job, but it's a start. Got the the eggs somewhat put away. Since uh, we didn't have any more room left. Yeah, that's a nice, nice pretty penny that we could have messed up, missed out on. Alright, there we go. I guess we're going to go right to the, the next month. So I'll... Talk to everyone as soon as we uh, get back. All right, so we're, uh, we're back in the month of June now. We'll go ahead and grab the baler so we can pick up the last straw bales. I did accidentally leave that in operating position, so I probably should turn that off. So I went to pick up that, that straw bale and it picked it up from me. Well, that probably should be turned off. Yeah, let me just take this one and toss it off so we don't... Hey, it's to stay up, uh, up top. There. Okay, I want it to stay up on top of the rock. There we go. None of uh, not none of our crops are ready to be harvested quite yet. Although this will be, um, maybe it might some might be on a cement pad actually. I'll probably do that maybe later. Might sell the eggs though. The eggs are in a price point where they're not as high as they could be. But I also have a decent amount of them and I don't want to have almost too much when it comes to November time. Cause then we get a full trailer load of it and I get some income going throughout the time, not just here and there. We might need more lime too. We'll see. This is a fairly decent sized field. I'm pretty sure the pH levels are pretty bad if I remember right. I mean, it could be worse. Yeah, I think I'll probably keep these fields separate too though, for at least for now. I think I'm going to probably put oats in the bigger field. And maybe some more uh, barley into this one. Oh, we got multiple different crops going. At, uh, at some point in time, we're probably going to try to get a planter and a corn slash sunflower header. Would be nice. I thought about seeing if I could... I don't think you can move the beehives, but I wouldn't mind moving it to over there in that newer area. 
could add another one as well. Or we keep that one and move that one up there. I don't know. Do some in, in the cab. Cab view. Lock wider in here. Now, so far, so good on the Massey. I'm no, no complaints about it, so. That's what I need. Much like the one I've been using in Edgewater, I, yeah, I like him, so. No complaints. It's more, it's, it's nice to do something different. And that's kind of part of the reason why I went with it. That and it's not a bad thing to have, have some new tractors. We have the ability to, to grow even farther with it once we upgrade it and all that. I have a feeling those fields don't have weeds, probably because they're plowed, too. I just thought of that. I, had, I was, like, going to try to rush to get a sprayer, but they're plowed, so... Yeah. So these fields will have, have weeds. So these ones I'll have to try and... I'll finish them out. Well, we should have enough money by then, I think. With the eggs. And then next month is soybeans. I'll have to probably fill up the manure on the... On the greenhouse. might take a look at uh, tomatoes and stuff with it too that way we be able to do something different and I believe it might be less uh, amount so painting Let's see what do we want here yeah that looks like this could do some of that I mean, not the whole way through, but do a little bit of that in here. Oh, wrong button. All right, here we are. This is the final, final product, I would say. Maybe a little bit. Oh, I got dirt on right now. Be a little bit more in here. I might change the base of this to asphalt. I don't know. I kind of changed some of the combine area. So we got a nice big area. Turn around and we also got a little bit more grass in there. So it looks pretty decent, I would say. I'm sure there might be little things that might change, but... Oh, whoops. I took a screenshot. Let's remove, let's say, $1,000. I'm sure asphalt probably costs a pretty penny. At least IRL. I don't know about the game, but. I suppose the case is kinda, kinda in the middle there. I'd like to, well, not have to use super strength too much. I think that should be, there we go. We'll go ahead and sell these. Bring them right to the store. We have a couple in the little nice bale area. We'll end up being. And so I, I was keeping keeping stock of them just in case we got a cow pen that was gonna. God dang it. It's not what I wanted. 
The zone on the pickup is too much. There we go. Now I'd like to take those eggs with. We'll see if they move. We'll see if they move. We got a lot here, so... I try to lock them in with the bales, it'd probably be fine, I think. This should be the last one. Is any dumped? Okay. Now we hope they don't fall off. Well, I'll do a jump cut to the store. It might take a little bit, so. Talk to everyone once uh, I get there. Alright, uh, here we are. So we had only one fall off the entire, entire way here. I would uh, put that as a pretty good sign. Maybe we can do that in the future if we need. Let's go to transporting, unload, unload here. Well, we have enough for just about any sprayer that we would need. And we still have the weeder, actually. So have to probably um, by next video maybe we'll get one because we won't need it because the current stuff is plowed so the newer fields maybe Ooh, I was probably should buy some bags of lime I just thought of that might not be much fun bringing them back but we'll buy four Probably could have, uh, for the amount of bales we had, just load them on the other trailer. And, I, and I, I've thought about uh, selling this trailer and just sticking with uh, the other one. If we don't do as many bales, it really wouldn't matter, you know? Right. We can drop these off and hope they don't uh, don't fall off on the way back. We'll probably just uh, fill up the spreader right from the trailer. I should have turned around first though. The only spot that really will fall off will be turns. And bumps. Just as I said. We'll hopefully have a non fun filled drive back now. <laughs> All right, we are uh, arriving back onto the farm. Probably just park this trailer over here for now. Oh. Don't. Didn't mean to turn it off. I think this should be the last one left. We probably didn't need it, but. We'll need it eventually. I thought about trying tomatoes just to I'm curious if they'll do less pallets. Um, I think the money might be a little bit less, but not as concerned about that. We got a lot of sources of income now. So I'm not as concerned about it. Honestly, I should have probably put canola into 
this field instead of the one of them out there. We actually get the B, the B bonus out here. It's not much, but it's something. Curious uh, how much like the fully maxed out John Deere spot and sprayer would be. Like how close are we to that point? Don't worry. Sometimes you're lucky. This one's 40, 24 inches. We could do. Uh, why is there multiple? Oh, okay. this is the base one. This is part of the the pack. With seed and spray, it would be 96,000. Unless we wanted to go one of these. This one would be 103,000. I don't know if that's really worth it at that point. This one's 94 and it's 33 inches. Or 33 mi <laughs> millimeters. Oh. Uh, how fast was it? Like 7 miles an hour. They just in case there's a difference. Maybe that one might be the best deal there, actually. I'm not as concerned about uh, how big the tank is, but yeah, the only note with the precision sprayer pack is on Edgewater was kind of weird. So I had issues with it in the first field I sprayed with it. Like the booms would bounce all over the place. And then I did the other fields and there wasn't any issue. So I don't know, it might have just been a weird collision glitch with that exact field. Although I did use a different tractor the other times. So maybe there's maybe there's something there. Just so you know, if I do add a, add that pack to the mod list, there might be some issues, possibly. But if I go with that last one, I got what Brandon was. Beef Hound? Or, yeah. That would be a separate pack, so. For 94000 that's probably... Probably the best deal we got for the width and everything. Probably is a good thing I uh, refilled the lime spreader a little. We would not add enough. Like I said, oats in this and probably barley in that one. I'll always say this, I'd rather have too much barley than not enough. That's because right now we don't have equipment for well, most of the other things, so other crops. Potatoes are plenty expensive to get into that. Sugar beets are very similar. Although, wasn't there one of the new upcoming DLCs? I think the is the rumored new crop is carrots or something like that. That's what the image is, is at least. So it's like that's what I'm thinking it is. That would be, you know, be something new. Be, it'd be tough for us to get to it on this series, but we'll make sure to get to it on, on another. 46 <laughs> liters left. Yeah, it, it sure is a good thing I filled that up, actually. We'll have to at some point just... Uh, Either bring it to the store or something else and, and fill it up.
That's oats. Probably should make sure the other one is too. It appears it is. I mean, I'll take it. Through, lower this one. I just realized I accidentally planted that. <laughs> oh, whoops. Good thing that will be planted right after this, so it won't matter. Won't be adding too much fertilizer to this. It's already pretty good. Seed rate's low. Be using much seed. I just realized I haven't uh, stocked this out a little bit more. There we go. Get our true width out of it. So yeah, I think I'll uh, time lapse uh, planting this as well as the other field, which I think will probably be barley. What I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking right now. So I'll uh, talk to everyone at the other end of that. Welcome back everyone. So uh I unfortunately stopped. As um I checked the map and uh so we're growing oats here and we're growing soybeans here. Um Yeah, that's not good. We can fix this one. We're going oats here and we're going barley in the one. Okay, now it's separate. See, it's kind of weird. So. But now when I switch it, it goes together. I don't. We'll, we'll redo this. We'll try this. Does that, does that, is that correct? Yes, so I'll have to replant that one section. That big field, I'm going to have to look. Since it's already done, I'd either have to replant the whole field. I would hate to do that. I'll have to do a quick check on what the crop length is to be ready. Um, before I commit to having to redo it. Yeah, I guess even when it says just just do a quick check around, you know. Go around with it real quick. And the thing is, I said when I was uh first doing this, I was like, eventually I'm going to make make a mistake on this. I saw it coming, but still didn't stop it from happening. The oats and barley will be fine if there's a little bit in. They're a much different growth period. But I think soybeans and oats are very, very, very similar. Maybe a month difference. 
I'm a bit concerned about it. Uh, otherwise we'll have to replant the whole thing. If it's like the same month or something. Otherwise we can probably get away with it. And uh, harvest them separate and have a weird looking field. Yeah. Figured it was going to happen eventually, but... This is actually lowering our... Uh, Fertilizer and seeds quite a bit more than I thought it would. Usually fertilizer stays pretty high, but I suppose the nitrogen that's pretty bad in this soil it looks like, so I'm sure that's part of the reason why it's like that. Alright, so it looks like I, I got this one fixed. We'll have to look. So that's soybeans and oats, right? Yeah. Alright, so I, I, uh, alrighty, so I did a quick check on that. Oats are about four months and soybeans are about six months. So we're going to be leaving it as is because otherwise I'll, oh, Whoops. I'll end up just wasting a bunch of seed and fertilizer replanting the whole field. It really would not be very cost effective. Not not even close to being cost effective really. I get a little bit more manure in that greenhouse too. Well, I'll have to I'll have to make sure I'm a little bit more careful in the future. Try to make sure that doesn't happen again. We must have been pretty low. We were we were out actually. Got on water, so seeds. What do you mean we're low on seeds? There's a bag of seeds right here. I suppose it just doesn't take it until you lift it up. Should be at yeah, bolt max. This back. I need it. I think that's, uh, so I think that's about everything for today. We'll probably sell soybeans next video. That'll be a cool 40 grand coming in. So that'd be nice. We'll probably end up getting spot and sprayers soon. Probably next video. Or so, because I'm sure, yeah. These already have weeds growing in them, and but we'll also probably sell weeder. Maybe anything else we'd end up having to sell. I mean, if we could, we'd sell these because we don't have much of a use for them now. I'm sure maybe at some point we'll end up getting something that uh, that won't have a solid fertilizer in it. So like a planter, maybe won't have it. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video.